Hi, I'm Dr. Leo Powers, and I'm going to talk today about how to return full or fuller function to a muscle. There are techniques to help with muscles that have been used for uh, decades. This is a new one that I learned about about 15 years ago, and it involves uh, turning on the uh, endurance component in the head so that the muscle is fully functional. So to understand this, there are, I have two models of a, one of a hand and one of a foot, and the hand is more, in Chinese medicine they talk about yin and yang, so the hand is more yin and the foot is more yang. But within the yin of the hand, there's a yang, you know the thumb, and within the yin, uh, within the yang of the foot, there's a, a yang, and the most yang component is the fourth and fifth uh, joint here. And this is the metatarsal, between the tarsals and the toes is the metatarsal. And so this is the yang within the yang of the foot. And the yin within the yang of the foot is out here on the big toe side. And in the hand, the yin within the yin of the hand would be the fourth and fifth uh, metacarpal, and that's between the carpals and the fingers and thumb. So basically, <clears throat> it's a re really easy thing. You have to stretch the muscle, and so for this muscle towing in, which will impact the uh, more the visual hearing component of the brain sensitivity, uh, and it's a very important muscle, that, and this ties in with the popliteus. So if it's fully functional, then there'll be good motion in all these metacarpals and metatarsals. And so when I work on somebody, usually there's partial or no function in the muscle, tied in with the hand and the foot bones. And so if there's none, then I start out with the yang component, and so adjust the yang of the yang in the foot, uh, which would be the fourth on the fifth, I have to adjust that, and then um, uh, then I need to adjust the the first on the second metatarsal metacarpal on the hand, and then I do that in both hands and both feet, and then there's an adjustment on the yang component. Sometimes it's on the right side, sometimes it's on the left side, and then that impacts the back of the head. It'll be tight back there, and then after the adjustment, this gets loose. And so I reset the balance between the parietal, that's this green part, and the temporal, that's the orange part, through here. And I reset that on one side, and then I reset it on the other side. And out of the chiropractors in the United States, 1% of them will do the cranial work. So not every chiropractor you go to see will, knows how to do this. And uh, since I learned it at, uh, at a cranial symposium, not everybody that does cranial work knows how to do this, but I'm one of the doctors that knows how to do this, and so we we can return function strength to the to the muscles in there. And so if you look at this chart here, this shows what happens when you breathe in. The the sacral apex comes forward, and the cerebral spinal fluid flows down to the pelvis, and when you breathe out, it comes back up. So when you bring your toe in like this, that has to do with moving the CSF back up. And so that ties in, uh, in this, tech, this uh, particular muscle, it ties in with the uh, visual sensitivity or auditory sensitivity um, in the brain. So it's a, it's a good one to fix if you, if you don't have it fully functional. And so that's how that works. Uh, there's a couple of steps in between here between adjusting this and after you adjust that to get full function. That's why it takes four visits for the inner and outer part. And um, I'm right here in Plover, and I've uh, practiced this technique uh, since 2000, and I've studied it and I've actively learned how to you know, do extra good on it. And so I'll do my best to help you if you decide to come to see me. And I'm at uh, Plover, Wisconsin, downtown, 715-341-7102. Uh, and if you want to make an appointment, call. Or if you want further information, call.